So hey guys, I'm back and we're gonna do a shop update. So I'll just do a little overview. All right, so door's here. I gotta rearrange the door because it's kind of a pain in the ass because there's an addition out there. So it's kind of annoying pulling in, but welding table pretty much. Scrap metal welding crap. Pretty much everything I weld together comes from under this table. Um, my bench, which I don't know if you guys seen, but I just put a piece of plywood back there for have that space too. My air compressor is normally here while my mom's not mine actually. I gotta buy it from her because she never uses it, so it sits right there and I use it. But their air compressor goes there. Power, big power bar, bar I got for my birthday. I think I don't know if you guys seen that yet speakers i don't remember the last shop update i did so i have no idea what i've showed you guys but i got speakers two up there that that one this one which was actually in my shop down below me i was using this in there and then the radio craft the bed that i was using i just had the radio connected to a battery and i was listening to the radio or plugging it into my phone and this was a speaker but i got that one wired up with it that one and those two they're still working yep they're still working those two those two those two and they're all the sound bar you also can adjust it with your phone but um a heater because it is hot i mean cold up here now I don't know why I have these like this. But then I made this shelf and I got a bunch of free screws from one of my neighbors. He didn't want them anymore and he didn't need them. So he gave me all those, which I've already used a lot of them. And he gave me the wood that I actually used to build the shelf and all these nails came from them. Um, so I just made the shelf to put screws and nails up on and then I started hanging these I got these And then I decided to hang up My power tools up because why not not that they'll stay there that they'll probably end up just sitting up there again Because that's where they used to or sitting around my shop, but it'll last for about a few days, maybe then I have my drill press screwdrivers that more chain piece just random pieces that's yeah, not plugged in right now but grinder those are cutting discs and grinding discs for this grinder oh, this drawer is empty this drawer is just full of random crap then those are old drills and crap and I don't even know woodwork and stuff's in there saw random crap more metal fire extinguisher that don't work i have two chargers up here i actually just put this one up here today for i have two batteries on charge at once show you all yours this where i just keep electrical tape in i gotta get a new wrench check because some of these are broken and i'm missing a lot so I'd like to get a new one of those someday. I'll still use those, but I want to get a complete set again. And I want to get a new set of uh, layers. This is my wiring drawer. I actually got these for Christmas. I can't wait to use them. Instead of using... Well, I used to use that type. I have two types of those in here somewhere. And then, after a few years... I got these from somewhere. The spring's kind of worn out in them, but these things work actually really good too. I use these for quite a while now, and they're actually not in bad shape. Even the cutter, you know, you normally... Yeah, there's one indent in there, but it's probably because I was using it for something it wasn't meant for. Um, but this wiring box door. See, like these cutters even, I broke these ones. And these ones even have an indent in them. These are a good set. I've had those for a long time too. It's just old drill bits. 
these are the old my old uh these are the first drill bits that i got these tiny ones but these are just kits from uh, harper freight that i use i gotta get restocking kind of some of them So leads, hammers. Then I have a wood stove I was making, but I'm either gonna redo this or make. I'm probably gonna end up leaving the base here, cutting the top off because I screwed the door up real bad. Put a barrel inside of this, make the front door, and bring the chimney straight up because you're not supposed to bring them out this like like this i don't think to smoke well the smoke travels up better if you just bring it straight up so i'm gonna do that i gotta get some chimney put though um some tires straps there's a lot of crap down there more straps and stuff batteries battery charger another just spot where i throw crap i don't even know what's up here um shelf spray paint WD-40, stuff like that. And then this is all fuel lines still. And then, out here I have my sled. I'll do a little walk around for you guys and I'll start it up. There's a lot of new stuff done to this. Actually, kind of. I did a bumper for it because my old bumper was getting all fucked up. And I just made something it won't last on it does it's not welded on it's bolted on with three bolts on each side so they come off these bars aren't actually welded to that it's welded to this but i did homemade handlebar extensions which again all i have to do is cut this off and then i can when i get money if i ever want to i just put real handlebar extensions on but <laughs> actually needs a clutch and I blew my suspension apart the other day I got it temporary fixed but this is the old square body I don't know what you guys last seen of that but that's what that looks like now we had a big snowstorm but it's kind of all melting so. not big but decent and there go cart just some crap my long some of my lawn care stuff which i gotta get that grass off that deck before it sit completely wrong and this tire i should get air in it again i gotta get a new tire um this is just some lumber i got from my neighbors my grandpa's mower a tarp that fell down the sack i gotta get gravel for in here or make a wooden floor in here because it does get muddy because it's on a slope and it runs down uh, yeah it all puddles up there so i gotta fill level this out with gravel then in here is kind of just a mess. I don't even, it's kind of sad. I don't even use this part of the shop anymore. It, it leaks so fucking bad in here. I got to fix it this summer. I got to go up there and fix it. But it's leaking pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe just take this part of the shop down because it's leaking pretty bad. I'm not going to take it down. I'll fix it. But I probably won't end up fixing it. I'll probably just end up letting it leak till just this part falls down it'll just be sitting like this and then i'll have this here <laughs> and hopefully don't bother that side <laughs> but in reality i actually should fix it i do i have a generator sitting back here too but it's not getting wet this is still dry vacuum that's dry this is all dry so we're pretty good <laughs> <laughs> That's full of water. Some pulleys. I don't even know what's back here anymore. Oh, well, generator's wet now. My, oh, this thing. This thing's really nice. I do use this quite a bit too. It's just sitting in here because it's winter time. And I don't want it outside. That's gonna be a pipe bender. Hopefully one day I want to make it into. I gotta get the pipe bender part to put right there, and it's only gonna be one angle unless I make something where I bolt different ones up, but. I probably can make the one angle piece work. I just make little adapters for it, but 
The roof's holding up with the weather pretty good though. I had to throw a few new tarps up, but we're doing pretty good. So yeah, peace.